Hey, hey, Julie Burke here. How's it going? Today is, what is today? Today's Wednesday. Woohoo! Happy hump day, everybody. You guys, I'm losing track of time. Um, I'm going to give it a minute because I'm sitting outside my good old Starbucks and not sure if I have reception quite yet. Let me lower my radio. Uh, as you're tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm just going to fix my phone. Okay, so I don't have a holder in my car for my phone, you guys. So what I do is I take... Holy cow, holy heat. It's like 17 degrees in Chicago. And I have my heat blasting. I'm dying now. Okay, so I, put, I take my rearview mirror... And I put my phone on the rear view mirror and then I tie my hair tie around my phone. Just FYI. Um, in case you guys need like a makeshift little um, something to hold your phone. There you go. Voila. You guys don't need to put that thing in your car where, you know, it has to like stick on your dashboard and you put your phone up. Nope, nope, nope. All right. So as you're popping in, say hello. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy, happy, happy New Year. I know I've been a bit absent from doing live videos um, in December. I actually took a step back. Um, we lost our beloved dog and then it was um, needed some time to heal. I'm still healing, but then it was Christmas. It was like a whirlwind, you guys. It was like we lost our dog. It was my son's birthday. No, we, it was my, my son's birthday on the 12th, lost our dog on the 14th. And then it was like Christmas and we had like five holiday parties in a row and then it was New Year's and we went away for New Year's so it was absolutely out of my mind just crazy um, but I hope everybody had a happy holiday I have a lot of really exciting things coming up that um, I've been working on for all of you but let me say hi to some of you that are on. Um, hello, Cheryl. How are you? Hey, Linda. Hi, Monica. Hey, Sarah. How are you? Uh, thank you, Monica. I appreciate that. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. Yeah, you guys, it's like, when does it get easier? Uh, you know, when you, when you lose a pet, and I think you have to be a pet owner to understand this, but it, like the pain is so great. I've had so so many people reach out to me and support me through that time. Um, it, it was incredible. But, like, you just miss them so much. And um, she was my work buddy. So I work out of my house, obviously. I, I run four businesses. And she was my work buddy. So I definitely miss my little Harley. Um, anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys today because I feel sometimes as entrepreneurs that... We can seriously sacrifice our time, and I mean time that should be spent with our loved ones, that should be spent on maybe pampering ourselves, whatever it is. Um, we could sacrifice time for success. Do you guys ever feel that way? If you do, I want you to uh, drop me a one and let me know if if you feel that way. If you're new to who I am, real quick, let me back up. My name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of Create Success with Julie.com. I, what I really do is I help people to uh, build their online presence. I help them build a brand. I, I teach branding. I teach online marketing strategies, uh, really to just help to leverage your time so you don't have to sacrifice your time with your loved ones, right? Um, part of what I do is set up on automation. I have a system pretty much for everything that I do, including my network marketing business. And so I really want to help other entrepreneurs and home-based businesses um, just learn these strategies that I have learned. I've built um, four, four six-figure income streams in this past year, and it all came and stemmed from one thing, and that was creating my own personality brand. And so that's what I love to teach and growing this following here on my fan page and really dedicating time to growing and fostering relationships. And again, that's what I teach. I teach how to leverage yourself by using a fan page so you can move away from your warm market on your personal page, um, which you shouldn't really be conducting business there anyways, right? And so 
Okay, a little, that's enough about me. All right, so real quick, I wanna to talk to you guys about the five um, really key strategies to building a network marketing business. I was thinking about this today because I was actually on the, a call with a client. When I got off, I just started jotting down some notes. I mean, this is how I come up with my Facebook Live. People are always like, how do you come up with content? I'm like, content's everywhere. If you just listen, listen to people or listen to yourself talk, like just brain dump, you'll always get ideas, you guys, okay? So what I have found is um, how, you know, how, to, how can you grow a successful network marketing business or just a successful business? Now I have um, four. Crazy, huh? Um, without sacrificing that time. And so w the number one thing when I sat down, I thought about how I was able to do it this past year because I'll tell you, it, it's not easy, right? Like it is definitely not easy. Um, but you can set up your day to be structured in a certain way and your business to be structured in a certain way so you don't have to sacrifice, you know, your kids' sporting games. So you don't have to sacrifice dinners. So you don't have to be up till 2 o'clock in the morning, okay? Um, so one of the things for your network marketing business that I suggest is really just setting boundaries and setting boundaries for your yourself because if we don't hold ourselves accountable I promise you nobody's gonna hold us accountable nobody's gonna care about your success more than you care about your own success does that make sense um, and I'm sure you know uplines and things like that yeah of course they're gonna care about your success but you're always gonna care about your own success more for example when I own my franchises so I used to own um, multiple units of franchises when I was 22 years old. I owned them for eight years. Yes, I'm crazy, but that's when I learned traditional business was not for me, okay? Um, I live there. Well, why did I live there? Because nobody was gonna give a crap as much as I did. Nobody invested what I invested on making those stores work. And so even though I had managers that were great and they they cared like I could tell that they cared about my business they still are not going to care as much as as I did okay so I hope that makes sense so you have to set boundaries for yourself um, to hold yourself accountable and what I mean by that is um, setting um, you know setting like your your time right like setting a schedule for yourself and really like don't just set a schedule and then not stick to it like Set it and then like abide by it, okay? So you could use timers on your phone. So you say, okay, for, for this next half hour, I'm only going to focus on meeting 10 new people through social media. And I don't mean prospecting 10 new people. Please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm talking about just meeting like just genuinely friending them and saying hello and you probably will have a mutual friend in common and just starting that conversation and start commenting maybe on some of their stuff or whatever. No, you're not prospecting, okay? So maybe you're doing that in a 30 minute um, time block, okay? Um, maybe you set a clock for 15 minutes to where you do some personal personal development or you just go and listen to some sort of training. I know within my company we have a ton of trainings, like an endless supply of trainings. And I'm like, how am I going to listen to all this? Well, guess what? I will take an Excel spreadsheet and I'll put the, uh, the trainings and the links down. And then what do I do? I time block. Today, I wanted to listen to a webinar. So what did I do? I time blocked my schedule around the webinar of when I could and could not take coaching clients or calls, okay? Does that, does that make sense? Okay, so you have to set some boundaries for yourself and your business, and you definitely wanna carve out time for your family. Okay, so when my son comes home at 3.30 in the afternoon, nothing goes down, nothing happens until after eight o'clock when they're in bed. Like, so I get all my work done during the day. Now I understand some people don't have that luxury because they're at full-time jobs. Well then guess what? You wanna schedule your 15 minute breaks to either, same thing, like see five people. Let's see how many people you can connect with and meet. Let's do some follow-ups, right? Um, let's share some presentations, okay? 
and then maybe it's nighttime. So your kids go to bed at eight, you spend time with them after dinner, and then from nine to 10 or 10 to 11, instead of watching your favorite show, you go and you get some work done, okay? So again, you have to think of your schedule and set it up, because everyone's schedule is gonna be different. I'm gonna tell you, you shouldn't really be doing anything or working on any particular thing really longer than a half hour because your brain is just going to go haywire. Um, this personal experience. All right. Number two, um, for your network marketing business, a way that you could do it is to set up chats and groups. Okay. So within my company, we have a product group. We have, um, a business group, private group for those that join our business. Um, we have, uh, chats. Our chats are great because whenever anyone raises their hand and says, yes, I want to do this as a business on our team, they get put into this chat. And what I, it's great for leveraging yourself because your, your whole team is in there, right? Who's building a business. Oh, it's getting hot in here. And so what we do is we set up these chats, we set up these groups so then they can create some leverage with your team and other leaders that can help out. Like I am still in there too, but what I'm saying is if, if your new team member has a question, you put them in the chat and you tell them you go here if you have a question. You're telling them, go in the chat when you have a question. It's a great resource. So I'm pointing them, I'm like the tour guide. I'm just pointing them in all the different directions. And ultimately, it helps our us as a team. It helps us to leverage ourselves for when new people come in. So then, hey, if they post a question and I'm out at a sporting event for my kid and I, and it, if they were to message me privately, I wouldn't be able to get to them for an hour or so. So guess what? They go in this chat and their questions answered, boom, like that, boom, like that, boom, like that. It's amazing. So you definitely want to, as you're growing your business, start a group chat. I did this from day one. Um, and so you name the chat, you have the chat there, you put all your new business builders in it, and then you're putting them into the appropriate groups, okay? Um, number three is be realistic. Are you guys getting value from this too? By the way, I can't see, I don't know if I could see comments, but if you are, let me see some hearts, drop me an emoji. Let me, let me know you're still with me. Um, don't mind my appearance. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Like I feel like I'm borderline, like something is coming on. So, um, it is what it is. You guys, I'd rather give you the value and not worry about what I look like here. Okay. So three is be realistic. Be realistic about um, your growth based off the hours you put into your business. I cannot stand on people giving others false hope inside of network marketing, you guys. And if you can agree with me, drop me a, a heart emoji below that you agree because I'm gonna tell you, it freaking drives me nuts. Um, you are not going to enroll one on the left and one on the right and make a freaking million dollars. That is not how this business works. It takes time to build this business, okay? It takes time to build a brand. It takes time to muster up the courage to maybe approach certain people in your market, okay? So it definitely takes time. So please don't give false hope to anybody. Um, and also look at the hours you are putting in. I also can't stand when they say, oh, one hour a day can you know bring you the, your five figure income. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, here's the thing. In one hour a day, it can, but what are you doing in that hour? Okay, so there, you know, it's like a catch 22. Well, an hour a day, sure, if you're hammering out some, ser some serious stuff, some income producing activity, but what are you doing in that hour a day, okay? Um, and so again, I don't wanna say you can't, but just give yourself some realistic expectations as you grow and develop in your business, as you grow and develop into a leader, okay, you guys? Yes, Robin, false hope freaking drives me nuts too. I was given false hope. I was given false hope in the beginning of my network marketing career um, five and a half years ago. And then because I was given it, I was giving it. What you give, you get, right? Like what you get, you give. And so I was like, I need to stop saying this. I need to stop saying put one here and one here and you know, it could blow up your business. That's not really casting a vision for somebody. Casting a vision for somebody is hitting their emotion and finding out what's important to them and what's their dreams and desires and then helping them to see what they're capable of getting. Does that make sense? 
Also, you guys, if you share this, I appreciate if you do share, if you are finding value, I'd love to give you a shout out. And I do have something, a free gift for you at the end. So make sure you stay until the end. I'm almost done here, okay? All right. Number four, you guys, be up front with your sponsor, okay? So if you feel that you can only give five hours a week or, you know, an hour a day, whatever it is, just be upfront with your sponsor. My sponsor fully knows that I might be, you know, like, you know, this crazy bad ASS. I don't want to swear in case kids are watching this like recruiter, but there are going to be times where I really have to leverage him and leverage the system that we have set in place. Um, because I do have other businesses going on or I do have a really crazy week that week. Maybe I'm traveling or maybe I have a presentation to do or I'm putting together a webinar and he's amazing. He's absolutely incredible. And so um, communicate, just communicate, communicate with your team. When I had all everything going on with Harley, I was very absent and yeah, um, my team was all, you know, hello, 100% fully supported. And I let them know what was going on with, with Harley. And, um, you know, I went into like a deep depression. And so, because uh, it was a very sudden, a, a sudden death that happened. So, you know, just be upfront um, with your upline. And, you know, you can't get pissed off at your results. You can't get pissed off at anybody else for your own results, right? Like we have to take full responsibility and make freaking no excuses for what we are creating, okay? Um, and you are a mom who is busy, yes. I am a mom that is bu who is busy, absolutely. I know I talk about, I'm talking about business here, but I, I definitely, I have two little crazy boys that, need their mama, right? And I need them too. So um, definitely be upfront with your sponsor on what you can do. And like I said, also being realistic with your goals and then setting that plan together. Okay, and then here's my fifth. Um, leverage the internet and brand you, okay? I cannot explain this enough. Since I started my fan page community in July of 2016, it has brought over 54,000 followers. Um, you know, I do have an email list and it's something I highly recommend. Even if you're just in network marketing, it does not matter. You definitely want a way to automate your message and connect with your community. So I definitely, oh my gosh, I love an email list. Um, and I love growing and fostering the relationship with my email list. Okay. And so leveraging the internet and leveraging some of these tools will really help you to grow your business faster and I hope to God you have a online duplication system because an online duplication system is so key um, to help also help you leverage your time and so one that we use in our business is where we just um, we meet the person when they when we find that they have interest whether they're a product user or business builder we add them to our groups that the entire company uses and we um, have them watch the videos, the presentations, and then I'm utilizing messenger chats to follow back up with them. I do not jump on calls. I do not jump on Zoom. It is just not something that I do because again, not being leveraged. Obviously, obviously, if they're like today, I just did this with somebody and she's like, listen, I'd really love to jump on the phone with you. I'm, I'm very interested, but I have some questions. She didn't want to ask him in the group. You guys, of course, I'm not going to say no. I'm Yes, of course. I want to make sure that she fully understands. Hey, Angie, what's up? I want to. I want to make sure that she fully feels comfortable with making a decision to join our team. Okay, um, but branding yourself is also very, very key. And as you know, and I'm sure you know, a lot of us network marketing trainers have really um, hammered home about this. You guys is uh, especially within this last year is. Um, a lot of like infomercials, a lot of spam bots and utilizing your personal page. Well, this is why this right here is why I teach growing and building a fan page. I get this all the time. Well, do I really need to? Well, yes. Yes. If you want to leverage yourself and you shouldn't be talking about anything to do with business over on your personal page, you should want to leverage a fan page to grow a community and to target your audience. And this is exactly what I teach. Um, and so I get this a lot too. Well, how do you create a brand? 
So what I've done is I put together uh, an art of branding you guide. It's really how to amplify your voice, how to create your own personality brand. And it's freaking awesome. Um, it's a pretty robust guide and I actually just came out with it. I created actually two new freebies. I created my fan page checklist and my art of branding you. Um, and so, cause I get questions all the time on both. So if you want the checklist, if you want the branding checklist, put brand. If you want the fan page checklist, put and drop a fan page in the comments. Okay. And we'll make sure to get that out to you. All right, you guys. Um, but yeah, branding, it, I teach it a little bit different. You guys, I don't teach branding in terms of colors and lights and vibration and website. That's not what I teach. I teach emotional branding, how to create that emotion between you and your audience. Okay. Um, that's what I teach, how to understand your ideal target market. Like who is that? And so I definitely, um, put this together. I'm a very detail oriented person. If you do not know this about me, if you're new to me and you're on the replay, first of all, write hashtag replay. If you're new to me, write hashtag new and grab yourself um, the, um, the guide or the checklist. Okay. I'm very detail oriented and I put my all into everything. Um, those of you that have been following me know this. I created five digital products this, this past year. Crazy. Um, but I will tell you the messages, the testimonials, everything have been, um, you know, we always worry when we put stuff out that it's going to be good enough. Okay. And so I'm very blessed that I am a detail oriented person because I, I guess you could say it's exceeded people's um, expectations. And so as an entrepreneur and as a creator and a visionary, that to me is just flipping awesome. So I thank you guys for that. All right. So I'm going to cut it there. I gave you my five key strategies. If you want the guide, Hey, Ashley, nice to meet you. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Hey, Wendy, nice to meet you. And Deanna, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut it there. Uh, if you are just tuning in now, I highly suggest you go back to the beginning and watch. And uh, I look forward to seeing all of you on the next training. Look for some amazing th things are coming in 2018. Um, I have some, some new presentations coming out. I obviously just shared with you and just announced that I created my new Art of Branding You workbook and my fan page checklist. I also am going to be doing more interviews with some major influencers in this space and my very good friends. Um, so make sure you stay tuned and make sure you're on my email list um, so you get all of the updates, all of the promos, everything I'm talking about here, all of the trainings, all of the goods. Um, make sure you get on that list. If you want to get on the list, again, all you have to do is comment below brand or fan page and I'll make sure to get you guys um, the guide and the checklist. All right, guys. So I will talk to you all real soon. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. If you found value, please, please, please share. And um, if you have any questions, definitely, you know, write them in the comments or just reach out to me privately and ask me a question. And I answer all of my own messages. Just FYI um, that I have a team of four, but I will tell you that right there is off limits. I answer all of my own messages. Um, I am definitely not too good for that. I know I'm busy, but I, I like to, I like to maintain that relationship, you guys. Okay. All right. Be blessed. And I'll see y'all on the next training. Bye.